this is the final video that we're going to be doing with regards to our username uh, password kind of system our login system that we've been doing for in Kinta um, again aimed at the um, component two, the new component to uh, programming assessment you'll be doing in year 11 um, and this is part of the sample assessment so we've been kind of running alongside what was in the sample assessment just to get you used to using Kinta um, and some of the things that might come up not necessarily this exact kind of thing but you know it's sort of like in, in that area um, so what we've done so far obviously we've, we've if you look think back we've done our sort of like very basic window using Kinta we then created our form we then managed to uh, take the data from the entry boxes and, and save them somewhere else temporarily uh, we then read the contents of the file the DAT file which has got the username and password in it and then we just did a presence check uh, in the last video just to make sure that the, uh, that was all, the validation was there the validation checks were there uh, just to make sure that um, something was entered for the username and password. It might be that there's a different validation. It could be that they're, they're looking at a certain format or they're looking um, at, uh, you know, is it only got, um, you know, is it, you got integers in it or is it got a string, that kind of thing. So, you know, it could be something like that. It could be making sure there's the correct data type and it could be making sure it's the correct format, the correct length. It could be any of those really. So we're just trying to um, work around that, but that should give us some more insights uh, moving forward when we get the kind of like the scenario given to us. So last thing to do just to obviously make sure that the username password and supplied is the same as the username password in our file. So the last thing we're going to be doing now is just making doing our comparisons okay. So if we come down to uh, this part here um, this is where we're reading the contents of the file in and then what we need to do is just check the information that we've got. So we're going to create um, um, a, a variable called authenticate. Okay. What that is doing, okay, we're taking the, the file information, uh, information, spell it correctly. <clears throat> uh, if you remember, file information is the, when we use the, the read line method just to return the, the one line. Um, from the con you know the contents of the the bat file, um, so we're doing authenticate. Now we're going to split. We're going to use split here. Now we have used split in class a few times. I've got an annotation here. So splitting the username, spell, there we go, username and password from the file, and you know adding to a list to a list okay so effectively authenticate is going to be our lists which is going to store in it uh, file information which is the username and password now in the sample assessment they do it slightly differently which I, I found a bit of an issue with um, what they're doing is looking or using the find method to find the, the, the string within that uh, that file um, so, for example, if the if the, if the username was username one, it would look for username one in that um, kind of string that we returned from the uh, the DAT file and check and see if it's in it's in there. The problem that I found with the the method that they came up with was that you could actually just it was only checking one thing. It was only going you know if you put the username in. Uh, and the password, the, pa the password was incorrect. It still allowed you to go through. So you want to be really careful that you know it's a really robust kind of system uh, that you are creating. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a list. We're going to store the username and the password um, in this list. Okay, what we've got here called authenticate. Um, so if authenticate. Uh, whatever is uh, index position zero okay which would be our username so we're going to check this equals user name check okay so we're checking to make sure um, and authenticate uh, one because they've got to be at the same time you can't have one or the other it's got to be an and and we came across this in an algorithm before where it's got to be the username 
and the password have to be uh, correct. I've gone too far there. And, uh, oh no, our oh, then, you go, uh, oh, one, index position one, which would be the password uh, equals password check. Um, then what we're gonna do, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna output something onto the screen. So we're gonna use our message box again. So if you if you remember, so we call message box, and then we, uh, we're gonna use the show info method, and we're gonna put in there our uh, message is gonna be uh, displayed to screen. So we're gonna say authen authenticated, authorized. Uh, I'm gonna put in a correct username and password, like so. So, um, if just let's put an annotation in here, um, basically just say, you know, check username, password, match. Okay, so if whatever is at index position zero, which would be the username, matches our username that they put in, and whatever is at uh, index position one matches the password, then great, we're in. However, if that's not the case, we need to add put something else, don't we? So else, um, again, we're gonna have message box. Box, uh, show info um, and we're going to say access denied um, and then we're going to put out there incorrect username and password or you know, whatever you want to output into correct username and password like so um, so all we're doing is getting the information from the form getting the information from the DAT file and check in to make sure that they match. If they do match, it's going to move on to the next thing. Okay, so I just need to make sure I move that down. If you remember, we are destroying the window, uh, like uh, so. We'll put that in there for now, just to uh, uh, just put that in there. That's fine. We'll, we'll change that as we move forward. We've still got work to do uh, for the next part. Let's just try and see if this works okay so um how is it admin i can't remember what's the password now uh, ats 2021 oh hang on i got him i got a no, file information is that oh i spelled something wrong let me have a quick look what's going on down here so file information dot split uh, ah yeah 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 let's check Mr. Dudley, okay, let's just clear that out. Run it again. Okay, admin, and then yes. Correct username and password. We're in. Okay, so there you go. Let's click OK. Windows destroyed. Let's check it again. Let's just make sure. So let's put in the right username. So always do your checks. Incorrect username and password, okay, wonderful. And the last thing we need to do is put in correct password, ATS2021. Incorrect, there we go, okay. So it works, um, the, the window does close um, for, you know, when it's uh, incorrect and correct. So just to recap, this block of code here is um, checking the information supplied. We have created a list called Authenticate. We're taking the information, the file information, which is basically reading the contents line by line uh, of our file. I'm splitting that. So you're taking, if you look down here, admin and user, the admin bit, um, and the ATS 2021, you know, we're just splitting that. So admin is going into index position zero, ATS is going into index position uh, one, and then we're just checking to see if those pass, you know, the username and password does match. If it does, fantastic. We're going to show this authenticated um, pop up or message box. Otherwise, it's access, access denied. Um, and then after that, we're just going to close the window. 
Okay, so we've finished our login screen. Um, we've got our presence check in there. Um, it's not perfect. The whole thing's not perfect, but we're doing what we've been asked or to, you know been asked to do in our in our scenario, which is to create a username, a login uh, screen, which checks the contents of the file to make sure that uh, what they put in is is correct and it's also valid as well. Um, so. We've finished this part, we're then going to move on to the next part of the system uh, which we'll outline in the next video.